In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Midjourney's new in painting feature that will allow you to change or add detail to any image with a click of a button. In order to access the in painting feature, make sure you have the remix mode turned on, which you'll find in your settings by just clicking forward slash settings. So to start off with, type in your prompt in order to generate your image. Now the images that usually have higher detail and a lot more things in it, I've always noticed that there's a few little things wrong in the image. So in this instance, I typed in coloring page of animals in the jungle, simple line art, aspect ratio two and three. And all these images are really high quality, but the closer you look, there's always one or two things that just aren't right. So I'm gonna upscale image number two. So all you have to do is click U2 and it will generate an upscaled image of number two. Then once your image has been upscaled, you're gonna see quite a few options, but what we want to use is the vary region as that's the in painting feature which will allow us to make changes to any part of our image within Midjourney. And this is how the editor should appear. It's really simple to use. We've got our prompt at the bottom. And to the left of that, we've got two tools that we can use for highlighting our area. So you've got a square or rectangle. And all you need to do is highlight the area you want to edit. There's an undo button in the left-hand corner if you make any mistake, or you can use a lasso tool, which is more flexible in terms of the area that you can highlight over. You're not limited to a square or rectangle. And again, this is really easy to use. So make sure that the area that you want to edit is highlighted. In this image, we can see some sort of animal there in the left-hand corner. I'm not too sure what it is. So instead, I want to change that. So I'll just use the square tool and highlight it over that. After this, you don't need to keep the prompt the same. You can actually delete it as we're only editing part of the image. And I would like to have some flowers and plants there. So just type that in and then click enter. Then what it will do is actually generate four new images from you based off that prompt. And then you can just choose the image that you like the most to upscale. But at least we can see in all four images that the animal has been removed and replaced by flowers and plants. So this is a great tool to use, especially when you have strange things appearing in your coloring pages. And you can see how the upscaled image turned out below. So I'm happy with that. You can also play around with parts of the background. So let's say I wanted the river to continue. Then I just click on vary region again. I highlight over the area that I would like to change, write in my prompt and then click enter. And it generated me these four images. Now it doesn't always do the perfect job, but in most of the images, it's at least tried to follow the prompt. So we can see, especially in three and four, we can see that the river is flowing a little bit more. And I've chosen to upscale number four, so you can see how that turned out. So I'm really glad that Midjourney's added this tool as it just adds so much more creativity to our images. So I just decided to continue mess around with this image. And the next thing I wanted to edit was the birds in the sky. And just follow the exact same process as I've talked about before. And these were the images that it produced. And this is what I mean by the results aren't always perfect, but this tool will definitely get better. But the great thing from using this in painting feature is we started off with this image and we've been able to make small subtle changes to our image to improve it. And don't be afraid to stop there. Really test out this feature's full capabilities by changing the main object too. So I've highlighted over the elephant and I want to replace it with the image of a zebra and a roaring lion. And we can see an example of how the zebra turned out, which is actually not too bad. And then also we can see the example of the roaring lion. And I'm not too sure what happened with image number two, but the rest of these all look okay. So definitely go play around with this tool. You can see the image I started with, then after a few small changes, and then when I wanted the zebra, and finally when I wanted the roaring lion. So this is a great feature to use when you have part of the image that you want to replace with something else. However, if you specifically just want to remove something, it doesn't quite do that yet. But if that's something you want to do, I've got this video using the Magic Eraser tool and Canva AI that you can check out.